As the wind turns warm and the sun spends more time in the sky, the woods and water of the region begin to thaw. The quiet, snow-muffled sounds of winter give way to a raucous chorus of spring sounds, the loudest of which often belong to tiny spring frogs. The woods of Chippewa Nature Center are home to three species of small woodland frogs, the spring peeper, wood frog, and western chorus frog. Going nearly undetected during most months of the year, you can't help but notice these noisy creatures in spring. Each has a distinctive sound which makes them easy to tell from one another. Western chorus frogs are usually the first species to start calling in this region, often starting as early as mid-March. Chorus frogs breed in flooded woodlands and fields. The male frogs sit on elevated perches such as a twig or clump of grass. From here they broadcast their call to hopefully attract a mate. The male call is a short, rising, squeaky trill which sounds like raking your fingernail over the teeth of a small pocket comb. While only an inch long, these frogs can be surprisingly loud for their small size. High-pitched peep sounds announce the arrival of the spring peepers to the breeding pools. These secretive and small frogs look similar to the chorus frog, but usually have a dark X mark on their back. After males arrive to a vernal pool, they quickly establish a small territory and begin calling. The louder and faster he calls, the better his chance of attracting a female. Wood frogs make a cluck-like call. With a large group of enthusiastic callers, wood frogs may sound like quacking ducks. Unlike spring peepers and chorus frogs, wood frogs have two vocal sacs and float while calling. The largest of the woodland frog species, these frogs can be up to three inches long. From dark brown to light tan, wood frog coloring is highly variable and can fluctuate with the temperature. No matter the color, wood frogs always sport a black mask across the face and a white upper lip. In the height of the breeding season, these frogs can often be heard calling together. While making out the different species takes a little practice, we hope you enjoy their froggy symphony this spring.